Developers of the Callisto protocol confirmed that their game will offer 60 frames per second performance mode on next generation consoles. Let's look into this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So fantastic news guys, 60 frames per second performance mode confirmed for the Callisto protocol and that's official information that has been confirmed by developers on Twitter. So here's the actual uh, tweet, you can actually look at it, taste it, if you know what I mean. So it's not like a rumor, nothing like that. So we now know that the Callisto protocol will offer 60 frames per second. They said on Twitter, we would love to inform you all that we will, we, we will be shipping globally on December 2nd Great news, so that's kind of confirmation of that as well. And yes, we will have a 60 frames per second performance mode. So that's very good news uh, for two reasons. A, I prefer to play games at 60 frames per second. And also, I was getting a little bit worried about uh, these next-gen systems, to be honest with you, because after the most recent news that both Gotham Knights and now Plague Tale Requiem are only 30 frames per second on next generation consoles. I mean, really current gen consoles, I should really say. I, I keep saying next generation consoles. And I was just a bit worried that uh, this will continue moving forward, but looks like that's not really going to be the case. So the great news, of course. Uh, now, uh, that still doesn't mean that there's not going to be more games in 30 frames per second on these next gen consoles. If you were to ask me, I think we will see actually more 30 frames per second games locked. Um, but I just don't, I just hope it's not really going to become a standard. Now, somebody mentioned um, the other day that, you know, Callisto Protocol is not really the same kind type of game. Like a couple of people actually reached out to me saying, but Mads, I mean, that Callisto Protocol is not really the same game. It's actually a remake of an older title. So yes, graphics is, is much better and they kind of changed the, the uh, some of the game mechanics and it's more open, I guess. But it's still not like a big open world like uh, Gotham Knights are, for example, right? So I get it. But, um, you know, my problem is that um, I'm just not really... I'm, I, I don't know. I'm not fine with six, with 30 frames per second games on consoles. Like, I'm totally fine with 34K mode as an option. But, you know, I think that, that we still should be getting uh, these... Um, you know, higher frame rates. And like, you know, I'll speak about Plague Tale again. Like on PC with a similar specs as my Xbox, I'm getting 1440p 60 frames per second. Uh, yes, when the <laughs> rats uh, come out, when then then yeah, there's a bit of a, there is a, a bit of an issue. So uh, clearly, there's still some optimization issues, and that game needs to be improved. But you know, like 1080p 60 frames per second minimum should be actually an option for uh, consoles like PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, in my opinion. But hey, it's a short video because there's really not much more to talk about. Great news for uh, Callisto Protocol, great news for us. I mean, for all people that actually will want to play that game. Uh, I get it. It's not really a, a, a proper current gen game. It's still uh, going to be available on last gen consoles. So maybe that's why is one of the reasons why it's going to run better. But graphics wise, it looks great as well. And uh, it's good news. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. Thanks for support. I really appreciate it. Don't don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already, share the video on social media, that always helps the channel a lot and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.